Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineerandtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we will focus on straight line depreciation. In this video, we will run through a problem for straight line depreciation. The topic of straight line depreciation falls under the main category of engineering economics. Equations, symbols, tables, and information on the various topics covered in engineering economics can be referenced on pages 114 through 120 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook, 8th edition, 2nd revision. The problem statement says, an elevator system installed in a high-rise building is 12 years into its 25-year useful lifespan. A new CFO takes over the books, but is unable to find proper documentation detailing the specifics of the system. The CFO is able to determine that the annual straight line depreciation charge for the system is $25,000, and the book value last year was $450,000. With the limited details available, determine the salvage value of the system. So here's the solution. The goal is to determine what the salvage value is for the specified piece of equipment at this facility. We are given limited information, but taking the details we do have, combined with the formulas we know for straight line depreciation, we can work our way backwards to determine the salvage value. To determine the book value for any year within the useful lifespan, we can refer to the formula found on page 115 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook. It states the book value is equal to the initial cost minus the accumulative depreciation through year J. In this problem, we are given a book value in year 11, which is last year, of $450,000. We also know that the uniform depreciation charge is $25,000. So the accumulative depreciation through 11 years is Plugging these values into the equation, we determine that the initial cost of the system was 450,000 is equal to the initial cost minus 275,000 and rearranging and solving for the initial cost, it's equal to $725,000. We can now refer to the formula found on the page 115 of the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook, which states that the depreciation charge in any year is D sub J is equal to C minus S sub N divided by N, where D sub J is equal to the depreciation in year J, C is the cost of the piece of equipment, S sub N is the salvage value in year N, and N is the lifespan. We know, now know that D sub J is $25,000, cost is $725,000, and the period is 25 years. Plugging these values into the equation, we find that $25,000 is equal to 725,000 minus S sub N divided by 25. Rearranging and solving for the salvage value, we get S sub N is equal to $725,000 minus 25,000 times 25, and that equals $100,000. So the salvage value is $100,000. Now there are a few ways that we could have faltered on this problem. Now the goal is to determine what the salvage value is for this specified piece of equipment at this facility. We are given limited information, but taking the details we do have, combined with formulas we know for straight line depreciation, we can work our way backwards as we did to determine the salvage value. But there are many ways that we could have arrived 
say at a salvage value of $125,000, which is a common mistake in this problem. And that, that mistake would take place at the very beginning of the problem when you made one critical mistake when determining the initial cost of the system. The problem states that the book value was $450,000 last year, meaning in year 11. So if you got $125,000 as your salvage value, you calculated the accumulative depreciation for 12 years, and that threw off your initial cost and affected the remaining calculations that you did. Now you may have also gotten a salvage value of zero dollars. In this case you probably took the correct procedure in solving for salvage value but you made one critical mistake at the very beginning when you were, de were determining the initial cost of the system. When you calculated this initial cost you accounted for one year of depreciation or $25,000 not the 11 that you should have and this cost for you to have significantly lower than actual initial cost that led to you concluding that the asset had no salvage value. Well that's it for this video. Do you know anybody that would benefit from this lesson? If so, let's try to reach out and help others by sharing this video with them. Also, take a second to like this video and leave a comment and tell me how it will help you move forward in your goal of becoming a professional engineer. And finally, type in engineerintrainingexam.com into your URL bar and visit the site to download for free the transcript to this video along with the example problem and solution we worked. While you are there, you can also sign up for the free EIT Academy Bootcamp. 137 pages and over 50 practice problems and solutions to get you on track to passing this exam.